Right then, so this is third vid for the third lesson of the functions pack. And it's all going swimmingly. So it says f of x is x minus 4 all squared plus 3. State the largest divergent on a 1 to 1. So if you were going to graph x minus 4 all squared plus 3, you know that its vertex is 4 comma 3. You know it's a U-shaped graph with a vertex 4 comma 3. Now currently that is a many to one mapping. I've got more than one x value that feeds into the same y value. So I can't do it because my inverse could go back to either one of the values. So what I need to do is restrict it. So what I tend to do is just chop it and make sure I've got one to one. So what I'm going to do now, so it says state the largest domain. So for my domain, so I'm going to have, oh, not f of x, I'm going to have x. So I'm going to say that x belongs to the real numbers such that, and I want it to start at 4. So I'm just going to take the right-hand side of it. I could do the left-hand side of it. I could do x is less than or equal to 4. But I'm going to go x is greater than or equal to 4. And that's the largest domain to make it a one-to-one. -one. So what I've got now is a graph starting at 4, 3 and going on forever and ever. There. There. So then it says, hence find the inverse. So step one, y equals 4, oh, sorry, x minus 3. Can you read that out loud? Uh, x minus 4 squared plus 3. Second step, change x and y over. Third step, rearrange it. Remember you're keeping it 1 to 1, so it's just a plus. So keep it as a plus square root, and then I've got 4 plus the square root of x minus 3 is y. Then the last little bit, uh, I was using f of x, so my inverse is 4 plus the square root of x minus 3. There. Right, now then, it says I've got to state its domain and range. So on the original function, the domain was x is bigger than or equal to 4, and the range on the original function was f of x belongs to the reals, where, oops, where f of x, sorry, is going to or equal to 3. And if you remember what I said, the range of the function is the domain of the inverse, and the domain of the function is the range of the inverse. So this, it's the domain, which you have to make sure you write down, so it's x belongs to the real numbers, such that. Now, so the domain of the inverse is the range of the original function. So that's bigger than or equal to 3. And the range of the inverse, so f to the minus 1 of x, belongs to the reals, because the domain is your x and the range is the y's. So the range of your inverse is the domain of your original function, which was bigger than 4. There you go. You can see that's the point 4, 3. That's the point 3, 4. You can see that the, the reflections on each other. So you can see that the the x values on the original function started at 4, and the y values started at 3. But then on the inverse, the x values start at 3, and the y values start at 4. So you can see it. But you can also spot here that all three graphs cross. So for part 
three. I've got to look where f of x is equal to the inverse. So I'm looking where, what was it? Uh, x minus 4 all squared plus 3 is equal to 4 plus the square root of x minus 3. That is really messy. And to be fair, for how what for the stuff that we do for solving, we can't do it. So I choose the easiest one of the two and put it equal to x. So I choose the easiest and put equal to x. So it doesn't really matter which one you do. Um, so let's do let's do the Four minus oh four. Where am I getting the four from? The donkey. Uh, x minus four squared plus three is equal to x. Because I'm still saying that I'm just looking, looking there, but I'm saying that f of x is equal to x because it all crosses. So I've got an x squared minus eight x plus sixteen. You kind of want the square root it, but then that's makes it even more uh, So then I've got x squared minus nine x. Plus 19 is 0. Uh, I'm going to use poly and I get x is, is 9 plus or minus root 5 over 2. But remember, the inverse is only, well, that's the positive part of it, aren't I? Because of how I've defined it. So as x is greater than or equal to 3. X is 9 plus root 5 over 2. There you go. Job, job. Uh, so that's quite nice, that question. And it took 7 minutes. How many minutes will the next one take us? Uh, not long on this next one. I'm going to I'll stop the bit and do it again then.